Governor Bruce Rauner outlined long-term solutions today to water safety concerns at a veteran's home plagued by Legionnaire's disease. Eyewitness News political reporter Craig Wall was in Quincy, and for the first time, he got an inside look at its water treatment facility. At this point where the piping is green, this is chloramines. This is water treated with chloramines from the city of Quincy. The engineer in charge of the water treatment facility at the Illinois Veterans Home in Quincy gave a detailed tour and explanation of how carefully the water is treated, monitored, and tested on a daily basis. I drink it every day. I'm very confident that the water here is very safe. All this is new since 2016, a year after the first Legionella outbreak in 2015 that killed 12 veterans. The fact that um, we've had veterans pass is heartbreaking to me. And I'm personally committed to doing everything we can to keep our veterans safe. As the governor wrapped up his week-long stay here, we saw the room where he slept and were shown the various upgrades like filters on the showers that have been put in place based on recommendations from the Centers for Disease Control. Legionella is a waterborne disease contracted by inhaling water mist. Tuesday, during a legislative hearing, members of the governor's cabinet were pressed for answers on how the administration has responded to the crisis and their push for solutions continues. The head of the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee is calling for swift action down here, and that is exactly what the governor promised. So what I've determined being here and living here is, okay, let's take it to the next level. Now let's fundamentally change, replace, and upgrade our water systems for this campus. The governor said they will be developing plans for a new plumbing system, and work could begin in the coming weeks. He said he has secured a funding commitment from lawmakers, but will be looking to federal partners and philanthropists to contribute. Veterans here seem impressed, even Carol Jardine, a self-described diehard Democrat. I think he's sincere. He really lived it. He didn't just <coughs> talk it. The action is there. I'm impressed. I might even vote for him. The governor said he's even looking into adding an entirely new building to house all 350 veterans calling this their home.